Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we got some uh, interesting things to go and talk about. Xbox had some pretty big leaks, and we're kind of seeing the future of Game Pass kind of get changed up a decent bit. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, Xbox exists. Game Pass, pretty good deal and kind of fun, although it has gone up in price recently. And as well, Activision cost around $80 billion if you include the Bethesda deals, and right now Xbox is kind of down money. They need to go and somehow show the proof of how they're going to make that money back to make sure that acquisition was worth it, and at the same exact time, there might be some really big changes now coming out from all these leaks. Microsoft does have a few different tiers, we're going to have to see if the value is still going to be worth it, and right now it's still okay, even though the price point has gone up a little bit. But let's go and talk about the fact of some brand new things are popping over here where Microsoft is now intending to change Game Pass, trying to go add maybe more prices and make it more expensive, and if you guys would be happy with it. Now, as well, we've also been hearing rumors that it does seem like the next upcoming Call of Duty is going to be on Game Pass, which is good, but we're going to see how exactly they decide to implement that, which could be bad or maybe a net neutral, depending. So give me your thoughts throughout the entire video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below. If you guys are bored, we'll be doing some drinking up on Twitch if you guys want to hang out. And of course, uh, just give me your thoughts and comments and everything down below. So uh, I've touched on this a little bit. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go bring this on up. We're over here. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is reportedly to set to launch straight into the Xbox Game Pass. So good. So let's go touch on that really quick. We've kind of touched on it a little bit before. But Xbox getting Game Pass Call of Duty, I think that's a win. Uh, it is weird because it may not make them as much money, and I do think that's kind of bad for PlayStation or Steam users, but that would make sense. They want to funnel people into Game Pass, maybe keep their reoccurring subscription, and kind of like for a gym, they probably want to find people who play like two hours a month, like some really low numbers, to go and pad up the stats and make sure it's all good. So Microsoft will soon announce its intention to release this year's mainline Call of Duty game straight into Game Pass. Which, by the way, I think it's good. Like, it kind of gives people more options, more chances to check out the game. Like, I like it. The Wall Street Journal reports that Microsoft will announce the plans during its Xbox Showcase event in June. Microsoft plans a major shakeup of its video game sales strategy by releasing the coming installment of Call of Duty to its subscription service instead of a long-time lucrative approach of only selling a la carte, so basically just like not selling just individually. So right now it seems like we haven't had the confirmation, but leaks are saying Call of Duty will show up day one. But one thing to note, and I've touched on this as a potential solution, it does seem like it may also include a separate tier. Now, if you guys may or may not know, there's been other various, like, higher tiers, like, ultimate tiers for Xbox, and I could probably see them doing, like, an Activision or Call of Duty tier. Like, you maybe get all the same exact games, but maybe for an extra, like, 5 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever it might be, you also get Call of Duty mixed on in. And that would probably make sense. Like, in my mind, makes sense. Uh, so anyway, when it comes to this, the report tallies that recent comments on Xbox President Sarah Bond, who indicated all Microsoft games, including those developed by the recently acquired Activision, will launch straight to Game Pass. So we're, we're pretty much assuming this will be good. They're assuming they want to make sure this happens. And they're also saying there's also different people now making a decision. So new Call of Duty games sell for $70 each, and they usually shift around 25 million copies. So that'd probably be around like $150 million or so, give or take. It should be a little bit more. But basically a lot of money, maybe more than billions. But I, I count money to the hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. By releasing this year's Call of Duty straight to Game Pass, Microsoft can potentially ruin those sales. And that's why I think they're going to probably do a tier. Because we're seeing other outside comments over here basically saying, Microsoft intends to reportedly add new tiers and changes to Xbox Game Pass to accommodate adding Call of Duty to the service. And we're seeing the leaks, we're seeing the comments, a lot of people are bringing up and discussing this, where they're like, hey man, like they are just curious on what's going to happen. And they're curious they're going to make money, and they're curious on how they're going to decide on it, or what they're going to really go and do. And that's why I think people are concerned, because Game Pass is okay, but it's not really growing. And right now, Call of Duty probably wouldn't make it grow. Let's just be honest, one of the biggest games on the entire planet, sure. Whatever. But I do think it's going to grow. I think at the end of the day, it will go and grow. But once again, how much would you want to pay for it? $20 a month just to get Call of Duty might be worth it to some people, but at a certain point, if you just go have Game Pass for three months, you probably could just bought the game by itself. A lot more people are also on PC. Uh, for Steam and PlayStation for the game. Like we even saw from court numbers, more people are playing on PlayStation. And as of right now, there's a lot more PlayStation consoles. So, duh, they're going to keep on going for it. But it kind of seems like these leaks are kind of assuming that there is going to be a brand new, maybe, Call of Duty Cheers. They also may be increasing prices. Now, this has not been all confirmed. If you just want to go through Shinobi's comment, it's not been confirmed officially. But it would make sense. Like, this is why I'm kind of talking about it or trusting these leaks. 
For sure, they want the new signups they will get from Call of Duty. So they like the like you know those nice deals, like those first time deals, reoccurring subscriptions, or people just rejoining Game Pass to play Call of Duty, and they will probably have a new fee, and will also play have different tiers. And I do think this will probably end up happening, saying there will be some changes, yes, in the confirmation from this one. So like I think almost no matter what, there is going to be a big change when it comes to Game Pass. I'd imagine an Activision deal. Like think, and once again, I've mentioned this on prior videos forever ago. Think about like a War of the Warcraft deal. Like, you have World of Warcraft, it is technically owned by Activision, you maybe spend 20 bucks a month on Game Pass, and it's an Activision Game Pass. Or maybe it's its own separate thing, like 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month total, and you get maybe World of Warcraft, but also the other, all the other games. And in theory, server costs and such are probably going to get subsidized, because you're probably going to be mainly playing Call of Duty, or World of Warcraft. And then they're still making a lot of extra money, like they're kind of maintaining their same payment like plan, but also working on it. But I think that's kind of maybe bad. Like, it's, I'm, I'm torn. I don't like the idea of Game Pass going up a lot in price. Like, that's just me being greedy. I think Game Pass is a good deal, but if it starts to get up to, like, $25 a month, at a certain point, I just will probably just end up buying the game because I don't have to worry about the hassle, subscriptions, canceling, or just, you know, like, maybe it's fine. Like, maybe I don't have to worry about it. But at the same time, if people are really big on Call of Duty, they actually might even make money on them. Charge people $15 a month, and they'll get Call of Duty times two every year and maintained up. And they do need to go bolster up the sales for Game Pass. Like, that's just been confirmed. Microsoft is looking at them. They want to make sure they're making money on that one. And people are saying, like, hey, like, they this probably will think, like, they don't think whatever price is going to be worth it. Just about buy the game separately. Game Pass value comes from buying many games, not one or two, and I'd probably agree. And then some people are on the opposite. I'll pay the $5 more a month if it includes Call of Duty and more perks, as well as PlayStation Plus. And people are kind of on the 50-50. Like, some people are saying, like, either go make these games, and people are saying it shouldn't be a surprise, and some people are upset it's going to be a brand new fee, too, as well. And I do think there is going to be a fee. But that also kind of leads to some people being kind of also mad about, like, no one likes price changes, like Netflix, Spotify going up. Like, that's not a vibe. I don't like that. That sucks. I don't want to waste more money on the same service. Inflation, sure, whatever. But a lot of people are trying to gouge people out. So in the next Call of Duty game will cost a dollar for Xbox players, but Sony will have to go and be forced to pay the full price, which is kind of like the trade-off of spending $70 billion to go make sure it works and pops up. And this is what kind of makes something hard, because I think Game Pass, if it's more expensive, loses the value. I think it's bad. But... If they do have a lot of options to work on it, and we're even hearing rumors and leaks about like an ad-filled Game Pass, like every hour you go sit through an ad or whatever, but it's way cheaper. Uh, kind of think of like a Amazon Prime where they sometimes put shows on their shows or whatever, you know? And that would maybe work, and if they do have enough separate out tiers, it might work out fine. Like make it so they have a free thing for like, maybe free or appear like five bucks make it cheap put ads in it then have like a normal game pass for general games and then maybe xbox games then maybe have a, a extremely higher tier one like they've already done for things like ea and throw things like say call of duty and activision deals it's weird because i don't think i'd like it or maybe i'd try it out once or twice but i probably wouldn't be a long-term user and i do think that might suck like i there's like a level like you give me 20 bucks i'd maybe do it for like the one month to check out call of duty and see if i like it and then if not i'd probably just play a bunch and you know do my usual fill kind of like you go and get a netflix subscription you kind of just watch everything binge everything but on the reverse it's like i don't know like if you go too greedy it's gonna completely ruin the value and more people are gonna unsubscribe because i do think game pass is nice but the value isn't really there like it's cool there for day one releases like i'll probably go get my game pass this month i want to check out hellblade and after this month, I'll probably be done because, like, there's nothing else I really want to go do with it. Uh, so maybe that's why they're also trying to put, at, like, Blizzard games on there. Those the thing Call of Duty because it make incentivize people to keep their subscription. Like, people like playing Call of Duty, you know? Should be fine. But once again, if it goes too hardcore, I'm not going to like it. And PS5 users are going to be upset because if you can go get it for a dollar, they might just move a lot of people to PC because a lot of people do like Call of Duty. I still like Call of Duty. I'm not the biggest fan, but... I do like it. And this is where things might get rough. Because if Xbox Game Pass raises in prices, gets too segmented, or at the same time, like, the value just kind of starts losing the proposition, which it seems like if they add more tiers and other various things from Activision deals, then they're not going to, like, no, people are not going to like it. And they may not actually drive more sales. It might do the exact opposite and ruin your concurrent subscription people who kind of keep it normally nowadays and make them want to unsubscribe and you're basically losing stuff so it's gonna be a really weird tossle to see what they do or if it's gonna work like it might work 
But at the same time, if they're not making back the money, then Xbox is in maybe in trouble. And at the same time, these tiers, if they go too expensive, I will not buy it. Maybe you guys will. Let me know. Like, what would be your price you'd have to pay for Call of Duty to go keep it? So give me your thoughts and comments and everything down below. Make sure you guys are following the Twitter and Twitch as well if you guys would like. And I appreciate y'all for watching here in the first place.